Hi, we are going to see how to create an Excel document in ASP.NET Core web application and for this we have used Visual Studio 2017 and let's see how to create a new project in Visual Studio 2017. Let's create a new project. In .NET Core, select ASP.NET Core Web Application and name it as Getting Started. Now the project is getting ready. Select Web Application Model View Controller and click OK. To create uh, an Excel file from code, we need to have Syncfusion's Excel SEO dependencies. For that, we need to right click and click Manage NuGet Package and browse for Syncfusion.xlsio. This brings the package from NuGet.org and select Syncfusion.xlsio.net.core. You can read and accept the terms and install the package. This package shows the list of assemblies that will be installed, compression, licensing and XLSAO. Click OK to install. The package is installed. Let's check if the dependencies is added. Yeah, it's added here. Compression, licensing and XLSAO. Now the next step is we need to go to view and click home and select index.cshtml page. The default div blocks can be deleted and we can uh, have our own custom block. I have already coded the program to make the video short and I'm going to copy paste it. I'm pasting the code to create the button. I have added a button with the value create document. Now let's move to the controller folder and click home controller. Here we need to add an action result. I'm adding an action result. Create document. In order to create an Excel document we need to have the namespace have using syncfusion.xlsio now we need to initialize excel engine to have the document this excel engine acts as ms excel application and this engine is the first step to initialize and the next step we need to have the application. We need to add the application and set the default version to Excel 2016. We have all the other different versions from Excel 2003. Here we have taken Excel 2016 and the next step we need to add a workbook to the application by default Excel creates three worksheets if there is no parameter and here we have given the parameter as one which creates Excel workbook with single worksheet and after creating we are accessing the first worksheet with the worksheet object and then now we are going to save the simple empty Excel workbook into a stream for this you need to have using system.io now the workbook is created and workbook is saved and we have the code to download the saved excel document the document is output.xlsx let's run the project
click create document the document is downloaded this is the empty excel file that we have created from code it creates a single worksheet with sheet 1 and also the evaluation warning page this evaluation warning sheet comes only if you use a trial version of excel as your library in order to get a licensed version you can contact uh, the Syncfusion website where you get a licensed version now we are going to add some content to it in order to demonstrate I have created an excel template the template has some image and some content in it this is the invoice format that I have created and we are going to create similar excel file from code with the content in the left side is bold and some invoice content at the other section and the build to section and we are going to have some uh, header and detail section with the formulas in it and with the all the formats with colors and everything we are going to create same kind of excel sheet at first I'm adding a picture in the first worksheet I'm added to the first cell first row and first column I've added the picture a stream and the next step here we can see the grid lines are invisible in the excel sheet we are going to set the grid lines to be invisible we have disabled the grid lines in the worksheet and the next step we are going to add the address part with some bolded text I've copied the content I've added the address part as text there are uh, different properties uh, to add values here we have added this as text and the next I'm setting it to bold and then next I'm going to add this invoice text where D1 and E1 are merged and also the invoice number date and customer ID and the terms with the back color and the font color and the font properties and its, and its alignments now the cells are merged in D1 and E1 and I have added the text invoice in cell D1 and also applied the font as bold and setting the RGB color here the color we need to add the syncfusion.drawing and uh, setting the font size to 35 syncfusion.drawing will be added to the using space and then I am setting the alignments and from cells D5 to E8 I am adding some text and number in it like invoice number date and date is given as value if I give, give it as value the code behind will uh, check the uh, format and apply it as date in the final Excel sheet and here code color and the font color and the alignment settings are applied now these two sections are finished now we are going to add the build to section with the build to section and back color and font color applied and also we have some hyperlinks in it here we have added the value 
and applied formats in cell A7 with font color font and uh, cell color and applied alignments and added the text along with the hyperlink to update an email I've added it as hyperlink and applied the type to URL with its address as email ID and the screen tip as send mail next I'm going to add the header part and the detail part with the back color and also the with the font and uh, font settings also the cells A and B are merged so first I'm going to merge the cells A15 to B22 next I'm going to add the data with necessary font settings also we are we have the number format supplied as currency format in unit price and also in the amount column and we have to add these settings I have added the values here the text the number the next I'm going to add the currency format here the currency format is applied for the unit price and amount columns the next we need to calculate the quantity and unit price and for this we are going to use a formula here C16 and D16 is multiplied we can have uh, separate formulas for each cells here we can have an incremental formula this is similar to selecting a cell in MS Excel and dragging to other cells to apply the formula in all other cells we have around 400 plus formulas in Excel SIO then next we are applying the formula to the total column and we have used sum of E16 to E22 this calculates all the amount and finally we are doing some formatting settings we have applied borders we have applied the line styles as thin and we have applied the line colors and also we have applied where the borders to to be applied like borders at the bottom and borders at the top and also we are applying some font settings and setting the font to Arial and its size to 10 and applying the font color as white for the header part and also setting the font to bold then now we are applying some cell colors to the cells A15 to E15 and finally the alignments are applied here if you notice you can see the row height is differ from the default row height by default Excel's row height is 15 and here for a pleasant look we have increased the row height and we are going to apply some row height and also the column widths according to the view and we have applied the row height and column width right from cell A1 to A23 and that's it we have made the code ready and this will create the excel document as we planned let's run the program click create document 
the output document is downloaded here it is the excel sheet is ready with the invoice content the image is here and the title is there and the address part is here and the invoice details are here and the built to section and the line detail section with the formula and the evaluated values and finally the total values calculated this is how a simple excel file can be created in ASP.NET Core web application thanks for watching